Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all Denarians on the go and in the know. Today is December 8, 2019. Please like subscribe and share to help support our channel. Get your free trial copy of the new currency exchange planner, the number one must-have tool for Denarians for pre and post RV planning. Link is in the description below. Fill out the registration and an email will be sent with the special access link. Mention the Denarian and get 20% off the full Unleash Planner. I encourage you, knowledge is power, stay informed and stay alert, and know we all cross the finish line together. First article of interest. Pictures. Hundreds of wheels and armored vehicles went to Baghdad. Hundreds of military wheels and armored vehicles went to the capital, Baghdad, on Sunday afternoon. Witnesses said, for Ferret News, that hundreds of military wheels and armored vehicles go extensively to Baghdad now, from the west, coming from Anbar, and from the south, coming from the southern provinces. Next article of interest. The Kurdish delegation returns to Baghdad to proceed with the federal budget discussions. After the agreement between Erbil and Baghdad regarding the budget and oil, and after the arrival of the draft budget from the government to the House of Representatives, a delegation from the Kurdistan regional government is scheduled to visit Baghdad to meet the political blocs in the House of Representatives, and a representative of the Kurdistan regional government in Baghdad said that they will make efforts to implement the agreement as is. Representative official Faris Issa said that the agreement was reached between the governments of the region and Baghdad regarding the budget and oil and the general Iraqi budget bill for the year 2020 was to be sent from the Iraqi government to the parliament last week, so the Kurds are awaiting the arrival of the draft law to the council and are making efforts with the blocs the other policy is to pass it as it is. Issa added that with the arrival of the bill to the parliament. A delegation from the region's government will visit Baghdad and meet with the political blocs in the Iraqi parliament, adding that this Kurdish political delegation includes representatives of all the Kurdish blocs in the parliament. He stressed that the agreement between the region and Baghdad is linked to the budget and oil and will be implemented as is. Next article of interest. Years after the collapse of the banks. Iraq launches a company to guarantee the funds of depositors. Announced in Baghdad last week the establishment of the Iraqi company to guarantee deposits after years of the collapse of some private banks and stand as an obstacle towards the development the banking sector whose number of dealers reaches 22% of adults after the emeritization project of state employee salaries. And several banks collapsed, especially in Iraq in the years that followed the year 2003, such as the banks, Awarka, Basra, Dar es Salaam the economy, etc. And so far, depositors are demanding their money after bankruptcy of banks through demonstrations that they organize periodically in front of the buildings of financial institutions such as the Central Bank. The capital of the Iraqi Deposit Insurance Corporation amounts to 100 billion dinars, $3.83 million, and 42 private and governmental and foreign banks operating in Iraq in addition to the National Insurance Company and the State Employees Pension Fund, contribute to it. While Lead Edi, advisor to the governor of the Central Bank of Iraq, speaking to Al Jazeera Net, said that the company aims to enhance citizens' confidence in the banking sector. The Iraqi state launched two projects, the first being the resettlement of the salaries of state employees, retirees, and social welfare who totaled 7 million people, and the second was the deployment of electronic payment tools throughout the country, to increase the number of customers with the banking sector. While EDD assured that the company will protect the banking system and preserve the funds of depositors, Al Jazeera, protecting the banking system, EDD assured that all participating banks will inform their customers that their deposits are insured with a company to guarantee deposits noting that the establishment of this company came in accordance with international standards and thus will pave their way towards leadership. He also explained that this company will protect the banking system, maintain depositors' money and increase banking culture, as the monthly insurance amounts to 1 dinar for every 10,000 dinars, $3.8. 
he pointed out that the company has the right to invest its money through depositing it in banks as fixed deposits and buying governmental and other securities. According to the law of the Iraqi Company for Deposits Security, it does not supervise cash insurances on the value of credit facilities, bank deposits with the central bank, the legal reserve for banks, deposits of members of the board of directors of the contributing bank, and bank deposits deposited with another bank. For his part, the executive director of the Iraqi Private Banking Association, Ali Tariq, said that the Iraqi Deposit Guarantee Corporation is a joint stock company and provides cover to guarantee public deposits with banks operating inside Iraq only. He pointed out that the company will establish two funds, one for investment and the other for banks Islamic, and that the immediate compensation will be a maximum of 150 million dinars for each depositor that the central bank decides to liquidate. He pointed out that the establishment of this company will contribute to withdrawing chunky money in homes and entering it into the banking system, which it will contribute to the development of the Iraqi economy. According to Article 13 of the Banking Deposits Law, the amounts are less than 100 million dinars, the compensation rate will be 51%, while the amounts that are more than 100 million dinars, the compensation rate will be 25. Litarik made it clear that the establishment of the Iraqi Deposit Insurance Corporation will contribute to withdrawing chunky money in homes, which will revive the Iraqi economy, Al Jazeera, loss of previous deposits. On the other hand, Citizen Mohammed Al Barzanji, who deposited approximately $40,000 in the Warka Bank before, wondered bankruptcy from the fate of his money now after the company was founded. Speaking to Al Jazeera Net, Al Barzanji said that he called the central bank and the competent authorities since 2012 until now return his money that he deposited in the Warka Bank but to no avail, indicating that the answer that he received after the establishment of the company what is new is that it is concerned with current deposits, not deposits before they are established. He emphasized that our money was stolen by cleared in in front of the central bank and has not done anything yet, especially as the bank it lifted the will imposed by the central bank. For his part, the economist Bassam Gamal Antoine, speaking to Al Jazeera Net, said that the establishment of the deposit guarantee company the deal will increase with Iraqi private banks. He stressed that the Iraqi state is required to find a quick solution to the owners of deposits in bankruptcy banks, because these have affected in a way great on the reputation of the banking sector, due to their lost right and the lack of state intervention to return it from those who stole it indicating that the lack of the establishment of this company made government banks a dominant sector in the banking sector, because government banks are safer for Iraqis. Next article of interest. This document. Next Tuesday is an official holiday. Alfred News obtained a document of Cabinet Resolution No. 11 of 2018 which states that the Liberation Day of Iraq from the terrorist gangs of ISIS and the 10th of December is a national holiday and an official holiday every year. Next article of interest. Kaaladi reveals the preparation of the final version of the electoral law and the date of its approval. The MP revealed the parliamentary wisdom bloc, Hassan Kaladi, preparing the final version of the election law while speaking about the date of its approval. My current central pivot to the House of Representatives is the approval of the new election law, Kaaladi said, revealing the vote on the law given that the first and second reading has ended and discussion of the law within the relevant committee took a long time and held meetings with legal experts. He pointed out that topics that have disagreements in this law include two acts as Article 15, which speaks to go towards multiple constituencies and reduce the number of members of parliament to 251 deputies, noting that, despite the existence of these differences, the law will proceed with the vote. Kaladi added, the delay came to prepare the final version of the law, because everyone is convinced of the single list in multiple districts in the provinces, announcing, the next week of sessions will witness the vote on the election law after completing its final version. Next article of interest. Al-Tamimi. The government is dissolved after the 30-day period for conducting business and the President of the Republic takes office. 
legal expert, Ali Al Tamimi, confirmed on Sunday, December 8, 2019, that the end of the 30 day period specified for the caretaker government without nominating an alternative person would lead to the legal dissolution of the Abdul Mahdi government. Al Tamimi said to Al Masala, the President of the Republic has 15 days to appoint a new and another candidate and he can be independent if the period has passed and he did not succeed. After the end of the 30 days set for the conduct of business, the government of Abdul Mahdi and those with him will end. He explained, then we will turn to Article 81 of the Constitution where the President of the Republic undertakes the task of conducting business and the time required. The text above is P2 assigning a new candidate within 15 days from the date of the vacancy, and if it does not succeed, the Constitution does not address it, but I see that since the text came absolutely and the absolute applies to launching it unless something restricts it. I see that if this vacuum occurs, the President of the Republic will continue until a new Prime Minister is found. Next article of interest, Urgent Abdul Mahdi calls on Parliament and blocks. I do not wish that my government be too long in her way to form a new one. The resigned Prime Minister, Adel Abdul Mahdi, called the political blocs and the House of Representatives to form the new government with full powers. This came during his meeting today, Sunday, the ambassadors of the European Union in Baghdad. A statement of his office, which was received by al News, said that cooperation relations between the two sides, demonstrations in Iraq and the importance of protecting them and preserving their integrity have been discussed. He added that the ambassadors of the European Union express their continued desire to support Iraq as the democratic country that represents an important model in the Middle East, and that the European Union considers Iraq a partner and is keen on its reputation in strengthening its system and democratic experience, praising the role of the Prime Minister to achieve an important development in Iraqi relations, foreign affairs, especially with the European Union. The ambassadors express their concern over the targeting of the demonstrators by the saboteurs and the importance of preventing any attacks against them and the security forces. Abdul Mahdi stressed during the meeting, Iraq is proud of the partnership and cooperation relations with the European Union, and Iraq's commitment to human rights principles, including the protection of the right to peaceful protest and the right to life, work and study. Noting that, the government revealed in its report the mistakes that occurred at the beginning of the demonstrations and the excessive use of force and was taken investigative measures, and judicial procedures are continuing in this regard. He pointed out that, the government made a strict decision to confine arms to the state, but what is regrettable is the occurrence of sabotage operations carried out by vandals among peaceful demonstrators and the burning of state institutions, police stations religious shrines, consulates and homes of citizens, and that the security forces have a duty to protect everyone and maintain security and stability throughout the country. Stressing, checking the information from its precise sources. And Abdul Mahdi pointed out that, Iraq has had a major role in combating terrorism and its people are paying the price of war on ISIS and its economic, social and security conditions again calling on the House of Representatives and political forces to form the new government with full powers and its desire that the government not run for the duration of daily affairs. Next article of interest, British-French-German call to drive the crowd out of protest sites and hold perpetrators accountable. British, French and German embassies in Baghdad have called for the removal of the PMF factions from the sites of protests in Iraq. This came during a meeting of British, French and German ambassadors today, Sunday, in Baghdad, with the Iraqi Prime Minister, Adel Abdul Mahdi. According to a joint statement of the embassies, the ambassadors condemned the killing of peaceful Iraqi demonstrators since October 1, including the killing of 25 demonstrators in Baghdad last Friday. The ambassadors called upon the Prime Minister, as Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces and until the new Prime Minister takes over, to ensure the protection of protesters, to carry out the necessary investigations urgently and to hold all those responsible for the killings accountable. They also stressed not to allow any armed faction to operate outside the control of the state, 
and they also urged the Iraqi government to ensure the implementation of the decision taken by ordering the PMF not to be present at the protest sites, and holding those who violate this decision accountable. Next article of interest. What we currently know about Iran moving missiles secretly into Iraq. U.S. intelligence services have recently reported that they have been tracking the movement of Iranian missiles being moved into Iraqi locations over the last year. They are believed to be taking advantage of the protests and political unrest in Iraq to do so. In Iraq people are currently protesting against the influence of Iranians on their culture and political systems with sometimes violent public protests. It is ironic that they are sneaking missiles into a nation which does not want them there. It clearly shows the power Iranians are trying to achieve in the Middle East. Iraqis do not want to be led around on a leash by the Iranians, Rep. Elisa Slotkin, Democrat of Michigan and a member of the House Armed Services Committee, said in an interview. But, unfortunately, due to the chaos and confusion in the Iraqi central government, Iran is paradoxically the best poised to take advantage of the grassroots unrest. They are reported to be short-range ballistic missiles with a range of over 600 miles. One fired from the outskirts of Baghdad could assault Jerusalem. However, this is all the information the public is going to receive. According to the New York Times intelligence officials will not release any more details about the exact models being snuck into Iraq. Israel had launched an airstrike in an attempt to destroy them as they pose a huge threat but they failed to find the hidden missiles. Ever since then, the threat the weapon repossesses grows increasingly larger as more missiles are still being moved across the border. This largely stems from the Trump administration in the Middle East. Over time they have increased their military presence there with the idea to counter the developing threats to Americans. This includes the recent attacks on oil tankers and facilities for which the U.S. blamed Iran. The developing threats then saw the Trump administration send an additional 14,000 troops to the region in May, mainly to aid in missile defense systems and staff Navy ships. But the fact that they are hoarding large amounts of deadly missiles in Iraq is a clear indication that Trump administration's efforts to discourage Tehran by increasing the presence of military power in this continent to massively failing. Iran is believed to be doing this as they are planning for future attacks and increasing their deterrence by spreading out their missiles which is part of a larger effort to try and frighten the Middle East by proclaiming its power. This collection of missiles outside Iran's borders gives them an advantage if Israel or the US were to bomb Iran as their military could use the missiles in Iraq to fight back. Their presence alone could also help to reduce the number of attacks. The threats to Saudi Arabia and other Middle Eastern countries are endless, and we may never truly know the exact intentions behind transporting the missiles. But we do know it has the potential to lead to immeasurable consequences. All precautions to protect the safety of the civilians are a necessity. Next article of interest. Iraq receives final batch of South Korean fighter jets. Iraq received its final batch of South Korean fighter jets after the last shipment was sent last week, the country's Ministry of Defense said. In a post on its official Facebook page, the Iraqi Air Force confirmed the delivery of two aircraft, which brings the total number of aircraft received from South Korea over the past two years at 24. The aircraft will be used for advanced training and medium combat, the statement read. The shipment ends a six-year procurement process between Iraq and South Korea, which began in December 2013. The first shipment arrived in March 2017, and the second and third delivery of jets were made in May and October 2018, respectively. The Korea Aerospace Industries, KAI, T-50 Fighting Eagle, also known as Golden Punishment, is a modern and highly maneuverable aircraft. It is also considered a light fighter and training aircraft. The jets and training on how to operate them were valued at 1.1 billion US dollars, but Kai announced it would also provide support for the aircraft for over 20 years, pushing the total value of the deal with Iraq to as high as USD 2 billion. In addition to military agreements with South Korea, Baghdad has signed deals with the United States and Russia to buy tanks 
armored vehicles, helicopters, fighter jets, and other heavy equipment. Like subscribe to be alerted as breaking news unfolds from Iraq. Your free trial copy of the new currency exchange planner is waiting for you in the description box below. Register to get the special access email with the download link. Enter the discount code, the denarian and get 20% off the full unleashed version. Stay informed and stay alert, knowledge is power, and know that today we are one day closer than yesterday, over and out for now, the denarian.